Manuel Oliver lost his son Joaquin in the Parkland school massacre two years ago. He's turned his grief into a singular mission, advocating gun control through the power of art. And with the ongoing pandemic and recent surge in gun sales, he's taking a clean approach to spread his message. During these virus, during this period of wearing gloves and masks, there's also people dying for gun violence. You're gonna wash your hands because you need to wash your hands so you can save your life. And joining us now is the man behind the antiviral weapon campaign, Manuel Oliver. Uh, thanks for being on the show. Good to see you again, Manuel. I know you spent a lot of time in New York City. Are you and your family staying healthy and safe during the pandemic? Uh, we are. We are home and uh, trying to follow all rules. So, yeah, we're fine uh, with a little difference. I never spent uh, such a long time home lately. So I have to um, be aware that my son's room is empty. Mm -hmm. So it's not like a regular family that can do uh, board games and get together. Uh, this is a combination of <clears throat> being sad and trying to stay safe at the same time. Well, and as we saw from the video, you're also you know, staying busy. You and your wife are making batches of soap in the shape of guns. How'd you come up uh, with this idea? Well, you know that um, Chains of Ref has a, a lot of um, creative background, um, not only from me, but from, from other members. And uh, it's not only me and Patricia making the soaps. We have volunteers. And, and we came out with this idea um, to be as graphic as we can. Some things you need to explain in a very graphic way to Americans, otherwise they won't understand it. And, and this explains exactly what's going on. I, I, know, I know what these families have, are going through by losing their loved ones. And, uh, and I have to connect uh, the two pandemics, the two uh, virus, the uh, the one that ended my son's life and the one that is actually hitting uh, millions at this point. Where can people get the soaps and uh, help the cause, Manuel? Uh, the soap is not, uh, we're not, we're not going to sell this, of course. Okay. Uh, we, we do because we have a nonprofit, Change the Ref. Uh, we do give away the soap either by any donation that anyone makes, doesn't matter, it could be $5. Um, or if you can buy anything from our um, changeref.org store from our merchandise. In, in, in addition to that, we, we send these soaps to our politicians. So they are um, some kind aware of uh, things that we can do once we control the virus. Because we're going to get back into gun violence, believe it or not. Um, uh, hopefully, uh, that will be the only thing to worry about uh, sooner than later. And then you will need to have a plan already made for that. Yeah, this is obviously a different uh, situation that we've ever faced in our modern history right now. So what are your concerns uh, with the pandemic and how it might take uh, attention away from your cause? Well, it's actually not taking it away. Once you uh, find that um, our system allows guns to become essentials, uh, then they make it part of a conversation. That's a big concern here, um, that uh, people, some people are running to gun stores just to buy more guns. It's a, it's a, it's a game that the uh, gun lobby and gun manufacturers and, and gun industry in general have uh, in place, and, and, but we're watching them. We have been watching them, uh, me personally, since the last two years, and, and we know that it's a, it's a trick and uh, that's why you see people uh, buying guns. They think that the gun is going to save their lives and, and, and probably they're ignoring to wash their hands or wear a mask. So we're in a, we're in a crisis situation because of our American gun culture. Uh, data from uh, Florida shows that nearly three times more backgrounds checks last month happened in this state. Many gun owners say these are uncertain times. It's a form of protection. I know you just kind of responded about that, but can you talk about uh, more background checks in the last month? What does that mean? Well, that means that more people have applied to buy guns, uh, and these are the only ones that you can track. Uh, you have to add to those numbers the ones that don't have any background check. And um, 
we've heard our president recently saying that we will see people losing their jobs. We will see people being sad and being frustrated and depressed. So um, I, I believe that and I, and I know exactly what he means. So if that's true that it is, how come we're giving more access, easier access to guns? Now you can buy a gun on a drive through uh, so this is just adding, we are adding in the United States more death to uh, the pandemic itself. The website is changetheref.org. Manuel Oliver, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for your invitation. You have a great day. Wash your hands and stay safe. Will do. All right. Thank you, Manuel.